all the grilled sandwiches I've done out there, I haven't done one with tomatoes. I visited my parents this weekend, and this is what they sent me home with. Homegrown beef eater tomatoes. And you know those are gonna be delicious. So today I've got some sliced chicken breast, I've got some Genoa hard salami, and then I've got some cheddar sliced cheese. Now to make it hot on the inside, instead of waiting for the bread to heat up, go ahead and grill your meats first. And then you put your cheese right on top when it's hot. We're gonna do two slices of cheddar cheese, and then we've got some shredded Parmesan. They're gonna go on opposite ends of the sandwich. Look at that, we're putting all three on this sandwich, but we're gonna heat these up just so we can melt this cheese and make it better. Look at that. Let's just layer these on here precociously. Who would have thought a Marine would have a vocabulary that big? All right. This side is already grilled. Let's put it here. I think it's almost ready to flip it. And we'll just flip it back and forth until we're ready to eat it. Yeah, we got some, some time to go on this. We'll flip it back over. What do you do with the slices of tomato you're not gonna put on the sandwich? Salt and pepper. That's all you do, you're just gonna eat them raw. Little salt, little pepper. Look at that. Ready to eat. All right, I'd like to get this a little darker. Let's go ahead and flip it. That's, that's what I'm looking for, a nice little crunch. Now the other important part, you can't just willy-nilly eat it all when it's done. You've got to let it rest. I'll show you how. That looks pretty good. Let's check the other side. Look at that, hold them together. Set it on one of these racks so we don't get soggy on the bottom side. Let it rest for at least three to five minutes. And then we can slice it. Now this is a sandwich worth eating. Mmm. That's pretty good. Have you ever been into a sandwich and all the innards just slide out? That's why we rest it. Once you rest it a little bit, the cheese isn't just gooey. All the liquids that was cooked out of the meat is now starting to reabsorb back into the meat and into the bread. And so now we can take a bite without everything getting slimy and slippery. Hmm. Perfect. 